welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Victoria, and today I'm gonna be filming my summer favorites. So I kind of have a wide variety between beauty products and then random products. Yeah, if you're new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe. I do videos on lifestyle, um, beauty, fashion, you know, like that whole bit. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my beauty products. So since it's so dang hot here in Florida, typically I don't really wear foundation day to day. Today is an exception because I knew I was gonna be filming. But typically I do just wear concealer, which actually <laughs> bring my whole makeup back back. I really haven't heard anybody talk about this concealer, but I'm a big fan. It's the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I, is it gonna focus? I think of it, oh, there it is, yep. So I really like this when I'm working, so I am a waitress. I typically just put on concealer and bronzer if I know I'm going into work because if you're doing the job right, you're gonna be hustling and I hate sweating off foundation. I hate the way it looks, it looks disgusting. So I avoid it at all costs. So I, this is a, this is a need. But if I am opting for foundation, I really like the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. Pretty sure this is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. If it's an entirely different product, then I have been saying the wrong thing this whole entire time. I really lost my moisturizer. Alrighty! So since I really don't wear makeup during the summer, like I said, obviously my other product is a bronzer. I recently discovered the... <laughs> Frankie's at the door staring at me. <laughs> okay, and recently is the Hula by Benefit bronzer. I had never used this. I am still a big fan of the um, Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I do still recommend that. But my new fave is this little Hula bronzer. I love it for summer. Like I said, I just like wearing concealer and bronzer. My last beauty product. My little uh, interruption. Okay, anyway, but my last like, like, okay. My last beauty product, I have hit the bottom. So that definitely means that I use it. It's my favorite. This lip balm is summer in a lip balm. And if you guys haven't ever smelled Brazilian, um, like the Brazilian bum bum cream, run, don't walk to Sephora get it you will thank me later I love the lotion I love their body spray because it's perfect if you throw it in your gym bag bring it with you you'll smell amazing it's awesome so this is the Sol, Sol de Janeiro I think that's how you say it Brazilian kiss lip butter I bought the last one at Sephora and if I heard right I think they were not producing these anymore if that's true, I'm gonna be really, really sad. It really does keep your lips moisturized for the summer. Although, I don't think there's any SPF in here, so that's the downside. Just like swap it out with another SPF lip balm. So that is it on the makeup products. So for perfumes, I do have two perfumes that I have been switching off and on is one from Victoria's Secret, surprisingly. It's Victoria's Secret Wicked. I love this smell and I've gotten so many compliments every time I wear it. It's, it kinda has a faint sweet smell, like the pink sugar that was super popular in like 2011, 2012. But it's not as sweet. It's more of like a sophisticated sweet, if that makes any sense, if that makes any sense. If that makes any sense it's it, it smells really good and it's an inexpensive perfume if you get coupons through Victoria's Secret I highly recommend it I love it year-round not just summer but I had to include it because I wear it I switch it off and on between this one 
and then the amazing grace ballet rose smells like you are a rose in bloom it smells amazing I got this as a birthday present and I did use it a lot during the winter but more so now that it's warming up I love floral scents during the summer because it's more it's more fitting it's more fitting oh, this smells so good. the next product that I have I am a dry shampoo fiend Jordan hates that I don't um, wash my hair every night but honestly it's not good for your hair you should only wash your hair like one to two times a week and so I've been trying to train my hair to be less oily because it produces so much oil because I realized I was stripping away all my natural oils so my hair was overproducing the oils therefore it was a never-ending cycle so now I am trying to I have found my holy grails for dry shampoo I still am obsessed with my dry bar dry shampoo don't get me wrong but I have found that this living proof dry shampoo she's a winner guys she's a winner it smells so good so between this one and my dry bar and then also i do recommend as a cheaper version the bautiste i believe is how you pronounce it so good um, and like i said it's inexpensive i believe the living proof is about 20 dollars, whereas the bautiste is about seven dollars and they do have them at tj maxx and they have the gigantic bottles at tj maxx i think for like 13 and mine is still last at me and like i said dry shampoo fanatic so i use it like every day even the day after i wash my hair i'll still add a little bit of dry shampoo just to add a little bit of volume ah smells so good mm. is a random item and it's honestly my summer favorite but it's just my overall favorite anyway thank you jordan if he can hear me in the other room but these were my wedding first anniversary wedding present they're not gonna focus but maybe they will i really can't tell if they're focusing or not beautiful beautiful diamond earrings love them if i'm not going to work or the gym i typically have them in otherwise i have these little tiny gold hoops and i like these i like these for working out or just um running errands i don't think they're real gold and honestly i don't know where i got them i found them in my jewelry box i'm doing anything fancy or anything of that sort pop these puppies in love them if you guys are a fan of the volcano candles that are at Anthropology and you don't want to spend $30 for a candle like I, I also, again, run, don't walk, maybe skip if you want, but the Grapefruit Blanc, Grapefruit Blanc, yep, by Loft N07, and this whole entire candle. Same shape as the volcano candles at Anthropology was ten dollars at Nordstrom Rack. Um, I also got a smaller one that was quarter of the size. I don't know if they were having a specific sale, and that's why these big ones were ten dollars. But the smaller ones that are like half the size, I believe I paid five or seven. Um, but I also think these are nice because, you know, they have the gold top. They look appeasing to the eye if you have them in your house or apartment i do have subtle um gold accents in my house that i'm trying to bring in more so simple things like this i love adding my vlogs if you guys have been watching a couple of my vlogs you know that i am a bravo fanatic i love reality tv so of course after i like flew through vanderpump rules i binge watched and i just i'm caught up finally to this week of housewives of beverly hills of course i had to buy stassi schroeder's book and honestly big fan big fan perfect summer fun read by the pool um i flew through it on our trip in may when we went home to missouri couple flights and then the time i was there like i read a couple pages or not a couple pages i read about like 10 to 20 pages at night when we were there and i don't know 
it's nothing too serious which now the next book that I have to recommend is which I gotta go find and to you guys I have been reading I haven't like flown through it too much um, but it is really good it's Mrs. Kennedy and me it is about the secret agent of um, the agent Clint Hill he is Jackie Kennedy's agent um, I'm weirdly obsessed with the Kennedys. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I secretly wish I could live like a week in the 50s just to see what it's like. Um, but I recommend it. It's really good so far. I'm only a quarter of the way in right now, but it's a good book. Um, I have three products from my favorite sunscreen line. It is Sun Bum. I'm sure you guys have heard of it because it's been around for ages. But um, Nordstrom Rack was having 30% off for all of their sun bum sunscreen. So your girl definitely hit that one up. So I did get the, well, first off I got the 30 SPF aerosol can. I find aerosol cans being easier just because I hate putting on lotion. And I always am like, I miss a spot and or I'll just like leave a streak of sunscreen across like my arm so this one I specifically got for Jordan SPF 50 and mine is SPF 30 the aerosol can and then I have had face sunscreen in my bathing suit bag for about four or five years probably doesn't even work anymore so I did get the baby bum fragrance free SPF 50 I assume this is for your face if it's uh, for a baby. If not, then I have a SPF baby sunscreen, I guess. So that is all of my summer favorites. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your summer favorites are. And also all my socials are linked down below if you wanna check them out. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Where you